So hello everyone and welcome to Honda Thanks Day 2022. This is of course the kart race. Myself, Elliot York and my good mate Jack Gorse are going to bring you the commentary for this today and it's a lineup of some Honda superstars, none other than these two on your screen, Mark Marquez and Max Verstappen. It was probably the most anticipated part of the day where everyone can enjoy <laughs> yeah. a bit of kart racing, isn't it Jack? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we all enjoy seeing the Honda Racing Thanks Day stuff each year, as they have done for the last handful of years now. And of course, you can see there the lineup is fairly star studded. Of course, you saw Marquez and Max Verstappen there. They'll be teaming up. And then on your screen there, we have Gabriel Marcelli on the left, and then Kainosuke Oshiro on the right. Of course, both of them very established Honda riders. Um, Marcelli, you see waving there, a very good trials rider indeed. I think he won the trials two championship a few years ago uh, and Ashiro stepping up to the 450s and also representing Japan at the motocross the nations recently so certainly two very quick boys indeed on your screen there you can see Pierre Gasly on the left hand side he is partnered with rookie Brabeck of course the first American motorcycle Dakar winner back in 2020 finished second in 2021 and then seventh this year. Another two superstars, Tony Bow on your left hand side, the undisputed king of trials. And on the right hand side is Javi Fierre, of course, made his debut in World Superbikes this year with Honda. Yeah, Tony Bow, I mean, it doesn't get more legendary than that, does no. it? Completely undefeated in Trials World Championships, both indoor and outdoor. Is it 16 each, something like that? It's, it's pretty pretty crazy. 32, I think, in yeah. total, so yeah. There's another Honda World Champion as well, Tim Geiser on the right. MXGP champ this year and also in past seasons as well. I think 2020, I can't remember off the top of my head. 2021 actually was a great battle with him, Roman Fevre and Jeffrey Hurlings. And then partnering him will be Sergio Perez, of course, teammate to Max Verstappen in Formula One. I think he won two races this year. Certainly did. Did a decent job with Red Bull, not bad at all. Yeah, just missed out on seconds in the World Championship, didn't he? Sergio Perez at the final round. Here's the other team. Adrian Van Beveren, three-time Rally Raid champion on your right-hand side, and Takuma Sato, very experienced racer indeed, a two-time Indy 500 in a Formula, Formula, a former <laughs> Formula One. That's actually quite tricky <laughs> to get twister. out. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister. Former Formula One driver, of course, as well, the Japanese. And your last team then, Yuki Tsunoda, there you can see waving on your left, the pint-sized Formula One racer, and then also Tomoyuki Ogawa, uh, Japanese trial champion this year uh, and also multiple time champion as well. So two very, very talented guys. And of course, representing Honda in all disciplines, as you can see, uh, motocross, rally raids, uh, all the Dakar stuff, of course, Formula One, MotoGP here, the buzz working at MotoGP. And I think we're actually we're just going to hear from Mark Marquez. Just a quick hello then from the <laughs> eight time world champ. Of course, What's in the same? Yeah, I was lucky and my teammate is Mark, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, we will enjoy the here in, in the karting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the show. This will be the most important and uh, we will try to our, our best as always. Of course he's going to try his best. I mean, Mark's <laughs> going to want to win, isn't he? Regardless of if it's a fun race or not. Arguably the two most competitive motorsportsmen out there, would you say? <laughs> Max Verstappen and Mark Marquez? Absolutely. I mean... Mark raised uh, raised the, the level of the bar in the Emerge GP when he came in, and you, it's arguably you could say that Max has done the exact same in Formula <laughs> yeah, One, absolutely just taking it to the next level. It's a lovely gold helmet that for Max, isn't it? What yes, he's been running it is. Ever since he was crowned world champion again. This is Takuma Sato, of course, one of the home heroes of the Honda Thanks Day. It takes place at the Twin Rin Mategi, where, of course, Moto GP races. That's a Japanese. Uh, not great. I <laughs> went for the first time this year, but yeah, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not particularly good. So I'm not sure what Takuma Sato said there. Maybe some of you could pick out what he said, you Japanese speakers out there, but it's going to be a fun day nonetheless. We're going to hear from the F1 world champion Max Verstappen. Let's see what he has to say ahead of the kart race. Yeah, uh, my expectation is also very high with Mark as my teammate. <laughs> 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 now we'll, we'll see. I've never driven here, but hopefully we can have a lot of fun with everyone and it's going to be a, a fun race. So, Max there, uh, if you didn't quite pick it up, but hopefully you did, just saying that he's got quite high expectations <laughs> with Mark as his teammate. Of course, we know Mark's quite good in a car. Um, what year was it when he drove 
I think it was um, a Toro Rosso back then when he drove one. Ah, oh, the Red Bull ring, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah he got he some high praise, didn't he? Because well, he drove it with Danny, didn't he? No, you're testing me. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago. 20, I'd say 2017. 2017, roughly around there. Yeah. But apparently he was pretty good, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah. He was all right. So, certainly, Mark, both. Couldn't be surprised that he was quite wins. quick in a Formula One car, right? Eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, MotoGP riders, most of them are also quite quick on four wheels. I think recently Miguel Oliveira took part in a, in a rally yeah, in Portugal. Rally, did he, yeah. did yeah, he finish he did. third, right? Finished on the podium, yeah. Yeah, did very yeah, well. Did, did very well. well. And of course, um, well, the most famous of all MotoGP riders, of course now retired, Valentino Rossi, very famous for his exploits in Formula One cars yeah. as well. And the old famous possible switch to Ferrari in, what was it, 2006, 2007 area? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I think Mark and Max are discussing some tactics. They're having a, a qualifying session before the race gets underway, so we'll get qualifying to you very soon. We're going to have a, a timed qualifying session. Both drivers will have a go in the carts just to try and set the fastest lap time and then we'll get the race underway shortly after that. But yeah, it doesn't get much better than Mark Marquez and Max Verstappen and his teammates. <laughs> no, it Not doesn't. sure if that was decided. It, it probably was, wasn't it? It wasn't just pulling out of a hat like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to expect some, some fireworks, I think. These are very competitive guys at the end of the day. I mean, we've done quite before, haven't we? And as soon as you put that helmet on, I mean, we're by no means... Um, experts in a car or experts in anything really <laughs> um, but you put that helmet on you think oh, here we go I'm going gonna, gonna to try win this or be as competitive as you can so these guys are obviously professional sportsmen all of these guys are going to want to set pole position and win the race no matter what it's all, all a bit of fun but you know well and you guys know watching along that you're going to get competitive aren't you? it's like anything with these guys as soon as the helmet comes on they are uh, different people entirely <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what, we're going to have to actually take notes of uh, which suits everyone's wearing because yeah. it's going to be a little bit tricky to it distinguish tricky. some of the guys with just their, their black overalls and, uh, and a different colour helmet. You can see there that Marcelli's got a white helmet, so we'll have to keep an eye out for him. Xavi Vieja, of course, will recognise that one. Recognisable red helmet. I think they're just explaining there what's going to happen. I did hear that it was going to be 10 laps the rest. So 10, laps, 10 laps coming up. Yeah, we've not, got any, we've not got any time or anything, have we? So we're going to find no. it a little bit tricky to keep up with what's going on, who's going where, what the times are. In fact, we're not going to have a clue what the, the times are, are we? So we'll, we'll do our we'll best see. we can. Unless you want to get your stopwatch out, Elliot. Um, well, I could do, to be fair, yeah. But <laughs> that's just going to make our lives Might be a bit tricky. even more difficult. So good to see some fans there. I think this is the karting tracks just up on the hill near the twin ring, Mateggy. Yeah, I was going to say, did you see it when you were there or not? No, no, I didn't. No. no. Um, it's a cool place, though, a cool complex, the twin ring, Mateggy. It's like mm. nestled into sort of the valley in between in the hills of Japan. It's a very, very cool place to visit. If you haven't been, of course, it's been difficult to get there in the past couple of years, but great to see everyone being able to get together back in Japan. It's a wonderful country. Went there for the first time this year. Absolutely amazing place. Um, I'd recommend it to, to anyone and it's great to see the Honda Thanks Day being able to go ahead. All their superstars joining together for a special event. Yeah, so this should be good then. As you can see here, they're all getting their helmets on ready to go. I presume that's uh, an AlphaTauri media manager or some sort. Or maybe Pierre's friend, just taking a few videos and photos for his social media. Um, and it's good to see you as well, quite a big crowd. Of course, Honda Racing Thanks Day, actually. If you've no idea what this event is, it's taken place for a, a handful of years now. As you can see someone in the crowd with a full-on 93 Mark Marquez helmet on. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Very cool to see. Well, but actually, up. in Japan, this event draws quite a big crowd. It's really, really cool to see just how many Japanese motorsport fans, of course, get dragged in from all corners of motorsport, you know, by racing off-road cars as well. So it's nice to see. I like that Mark hasn't just used one of his standard motorcycle helmets. He's got the full-on yeah, car racing helmet in his own traditional ant livery. So very, very good there. Cotton is a good form of training for these guys as well, even if it's two wheels that they're experts on. You see them carting sometimes, especially during 
the winter as well, so yeah, they're going to have helmets for I all sorts of disciplines, aren't they? Did Mark, when he he first was recovering from yeah, his injury, yeah, he did actually, was yeah. actually That's his first point. thing was to train in a car, wasn't yeah. it? Just to get used to the speed again. Yeah. Um, so certainly, yeah, I mean, the car thing has helped Mark and... Well, if anything, I think that's going to tell us he's going to be quite good if he's <laughs> been doing it a bit recently. So yes, should be quite good. So number two there, that is going to be Marcelli with the white helmet and the black HRC overalls. Behind him, yeah. I think that's Ricky Brabeck with the Alpine Stars monster helmet. That there with the white and black helmet, that is going to be Adrian Van Beveren. Number four is Xavi Vieja, you can see, just tucked in behind. And I think that is Tim Geiser that's going to be in the car behind him so I presume that'll be number five so we'll keep an eye on those as we do get going you can see there Ashiro just having a couple of words with Marcelli before they get going I think actually just adjusting the pedals yeah. for him you know those blocks that they sometimes <laughs> give you <laughs> maybe we'll have to give I give mean, Yuki some of them we're not the tallest people so no, we can't have not, too much yeah. but we can't see anything He's obviously a very, very quick racing driver indeed. So this is going to be interesting qualifying. Number one for Mark Marquez. He's never ran the number one plate, even though he's had plenty of opportunities to do so. Obviously, Max Verstappen is numero uno in Formula One at the minute. Two-time world champion. Absolutely dominant year for Max Verstappen. I'm sure a lot of you are watching uh, are big fans of Formula One as well as two-wheeled motorsport. So Mark so will lead them out of pit lane. Yep, and seems like we're about to go. Just a bit of a free-for-all, isn't it, for qualifying. They'll just get the tyres warmed up, get the heads down and yeah, try and set the fastest lap possible. It's going to be good fun, isn't it? I mean, excited to see who can start on pole position. We've got a little scoreboard as they go around sort of turn one. So it looked a bit bumpy going into that right <laughs> It did, didn't there. it? <laughs> Need to try and learn the track as well, Jack, don't we? Because we've yeah, not we seen do. this at all. So I know there was a little bit of a, a kind of flip flop going into turn one. There's yeah, a nice little yeah, floppy nice section. Little section, isn't it? He wants his call up, doesn't he? The the he does, yeah. The I guy on with the Mark Marquez out, and there's more fans around there as well. So great to see so many fans out and about. Yeah, they're really packing around the around the track, here, all the way around the back there as well, into the into the trees. You can see. It's going to be like a Moto3 qualifying, isn't it? Everyone pushed together <laughs> yeah. trying to get a slipstream. So I presume what the deal will be is these guys will get a handful of laps or minutes and yeah. then they'll switch over to their teammates and give them a go as well. Unfortunately, as we do say, we don't have any live timing. So uh, you're in it with us. We'll just <laughs> yeah. have to see where they are on the grid when it comes to race time. It doesn't appear that Marcelli behind Mark is uh, actually closing in. So Mark maybe. Just needs to get a bit of a shift on already. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll see what happens then as we go around this qualifying session. Of course, not too sure how long it's going to be, but I'm sure it won't be too long at all. Um, we do know that the, on the schedule at least, this karting event was packed into about a 40 minute ish slot, yeah. so it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too long. So oh, there, we do have a yeah, we do have a little tower. time in tower, but it's very difficult to see in the sort of it couple is. of seconds that we get around turn one and two. Um, we'll try and get a good look at it at the end, but they're all just figuring out the track so far. Marcelli keeping up with Mark Marquez at this moment in time as they go through the the back end of the circuit through that nice little flip flop. To be fair, Jack, might time the uh, Mark's lap and see how long the lap time is, just to get a bit of a rough guide. Right, well, he's coming across the. the line now so you better get a shift on there right. you go 3-2-1 no. oh, final lap there already so they're only getting a handful of laps it seems Vierge just blew past someone on the straight wasn't too sure who that was was that Snowder I think he's got past a couple of drivers already well you would expect wouldn't you yeah Yuki Snowder very talented in a car indeed that is for sure hopefully we can see him uh, with a slightly better car underneath him next year in Formula 1 of course, Alpatari has been a little bit of a difficult season. Of course, this actually will be, we haven't mentioned it yet, but Pierre Gasly, this will be one yeah, of his last yeah. appearances in Honda Honda team wear. Of course, leaves the Alpatari team to go to Alpine for 2023. Looks like at this lap, Marcelli's just closed Mark Marquez in. So, what were we looking at roughly? What was that? About a 44 second. 44, lap. 45 seconds, yeah. So, pretty standard for karting. I think I saw on the top screen there that, well, it said 93, but. 
they don't, they're not running the 93, but obviously Mark Marquez is <laughs> the famous number 93. So I yeah. assume Mark currently has the fastest lap of the session. Yeah, we'll see. But it's going to be close the between the middle, isn't it? Because there's not much between them. No, Marcelli's obviously locked his radar onto the rear of Mark Marquez's <laughs> car. He's got the hooks in, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Quite a different discipline, this, to trials, of course, from Marcelli. <laughs> I mean, trials, which is... Although it is, you need to do it as, as fast as you can, sort of thing. Um, it's very much a game of kind of precise, careful with your uh, your movements and your judgments and take it once you're ready, sort of thing. Of course, Tony Bow being an absolute freak of nature in trials. Some of the, the sections yeah. that he puts together are quite ridiculous, to be honest. Um, and Marcelli, of course, actually doing quite a good job. One, what was it, Trial 2 Championship a couple of years back, I think it was, was it 2019 or 2019? 2019, yeah. 2019, and actually teammates with, with Tony Bow, of course, yeah, which Repsol is why Honda. he is in the Repsol Honda colours. So this is their stint done then. Quite sure who was. <laughs> <laughs> Steady on, boys. Was that, who was that one coming in behind? Number five. Is that Geisha, that? I think. It was Geisha. Oh, no, it was. Oh, no, it's, yeah, hey, it's Geisha, actually. Oh, it is Geisha, yeah. It's Geisha, by the looks of it. Yeah. That's Geisha. Then Adrian van Beveren and then Ricky Brabeck just pulled up alongside him. Number seven at the back. So I don't think it was. Yuki Tsunoda on track. It was his teammate. I think it was Gawa, Agawa, wasn't yeah, it? The Japanese, Japanese trial, trial champion. champion of 2022. So now I think they'll pull into pit lane, swap drivers. We'll see Max Verstappen in the number one car that Mark Marquez is currently occupying. Yeah, of course, Verstappen used to a number one on the car, isn't he? He certainly is. The F1 drivers will be relishing a bit of go karting, won't they? That's, of course where it all began for the F1 drivers in go-karts. It was throwing me off there because I could see number 43 on the side of um, Tim Geiss's helmet. Of course, he runs 2-4-3 uh, in MXGP. And I think it's Mitch Evans that actually runs number 43. He used to be a Honda rider himself and switch over to, to Kawasaki. Um, so that was actually just throwing me off. But Of course, Tim Geiss are incredibly skilled on a on a motocross bike. Pretty incredible what he's been doing this year in MXGP, wrap that title up early. How many rounds does MXGP have? It's something crazy, like 22, 23 rounds. A long, long season that those motocross boys have. <laughs> That's good to see. Japanese fans always bring some sort of sign or something yeah, that it's created it's amazing, at home, isn't it? isn't it? They are brilliant. First time I'd experienced it in person this year at the uh, Japanese Grand Prix and it was yeah, it's just brilliant. So what what's happening now then? Are they having so they're having a race between them now? It's possible, yeah. Maybe they're doing So that's Geisha on pole position with Mark Marquez in second. Yeah, then that's Vierhe third, isn't it? It looks like Marcelli in fourth. Fifth, I think it, that might be Adrian van Beveren. Yeah. So, yeah, I think they're going to have a little race now and then afterwards they're going to swap the carts and then Verstappen and co are going to have their little qualifying session and then they're going to have their race by the looks of it. There's a line upon the grid. So, so maybe then we've got a little bit of a Motocross and Nation style yeah. thing where it's going to be the, uh, the lowest score across the two races with two drivers. It's going to want to win you. So, off the line then, Mark Marquez is already hounding Tim Geiser. Ooh, going yes. to go up the inside of the MSG Ooh. World Champion. Not quite. <laughs> Not hanging bumpy around there. there. Oh, extremely bumpy. So, Geiser then around half of the first lap at least has managed to hold off the eight time world champion. But I tell you what, he's not hanging him out, is he? Look at this. <laughs> The hunter has become the hunted in qualifying to this race. Yeah. Mark Marquez doesn't enjoy <laughs> sitting in second place. I don't think he'll be in second place for too long. No, he definitely doesn't look like it, does it? Here we go then. First lap completed. Not sure how many laps there are, but it's probably only going to be a handful of laps. Mark oh, Marquez going for it in turn two. Is that? Oh, oh, contact. <laughs> Little bit of contact. That's okay in karting, though. You can get away with it. And Mark Marquez then leads for the first time in this race. So, oh, oh there's a little contact. bump and a barge, guys. Uh, and, oh, that's yeah, yeah. And also Marcelli getting close for third place. I think Vierge yeah, just managed to hold that one off. I think he was already up into third place. So then Geis is not going to take this one laying down. Barging through Mark Marquez already. Coming through that little flip-flop of hairpins there. So coming down to complete court. Oh, Second lap, he's going to go. Oh, not quite. 
can't get make it onto the home straight though. He's Geisha. Well, look at He's this. Got the inside line now, Mark Wickham's got a, a decent little move. Mark goes a little bit defensive. You can see Bash taking a wide oh. sweep in line. Mark very wide there, taking the tighter line. He's going to lose some. He's going to look at the exit. He's going to dive the inside. That was strange. They almost move. let him pass. That was a strange one. That's no one pass. Oh, uh, yeah, true, true. Good point. He might be right, though. He might just fancy sitting and tackling for a bit and having a bit of fun. It's very possible. I, th I think poor old Ricky Brabeck, of course, being quite a large guy, uh, he's struggling yeah. with a lack of horsepower in these go-karts. a lot of difference in go-karts. Yeah, and uh, I mean, Mark Marquez, Tim Geiser is a little bit taller than that, but they're both extremely thin, uh, thin fellas, so they're not going to weigh too much at all. I think this is something we'll see in a minute. Here we go then, Mark. Seven laps to go, which is oh, oh, once again. <laughs> Back in it in. Lovely. Yeah, if you brake too hard in go-karts, the wheels lock up, don't they? I've Ooh, done it plenty tight. of times myself. This is a great battle out front, and it's allowing uh, it's second, now uh, third, third and fourth it? to come back into this. So Marcelli is on the back of these two now, courtesy of all the scrapping. <laughs> so the trials is rider fun. is going to look to see if he can navigate his way around them. He'll probably go over the Nogan trials rider. Yeah. But yeah, we've got a freeway battle for the lead now. Look at this. Ooh, this is great. It's getting feisty. And now Geisa knows it as well. Big long look over the shoulder. So he knows that Marcelli is on his backside. A cleaner run through there. Mark always takes that sort of wide sweeping line out on the exit. He's not going defensive this time around. So he's probably trying to get the hammer down. I thought Geisa was going to try a move up the inside at the hairpin there, but not quite this time around. Three-way battle for the lead then in the first car oh, push, Pushing him along. <laughs> <laughs> get a move on, son. I, mean, I think that's Fierhe in fourth, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. Who's just not quite in this battle at this moment in time. Fierhe yeah, was, of course, third in the first couple of laps. And then there's... Uh, oh, oh, he's getting close. Marcelli to get a run. Look at that the Red Bull. Oh, this is it. I think the finish. No, it's not. Five laps okay, to go. It looked like Five the finish. Laps Five laps to go. So it does seem they've got a ten-lap race each. Oh, no, hey, wait. Look. We're having pit stops now. Okay, ah, so okay, who okay. is that going in? That's, that was Takuma Sato. Takuma Sato. That's that is Yuki Snowder. Snowder. Who's going in at the back there? I think that was either Ricky Brabeck or Andrew and Van Beveren getting out of the car. So, so the F1 drivers then stepping into the car. So this is this is when it's going to get proper serious business. Mark Marquez yeah. leading the way. He's pulled a little bit of a gap now to second place. Can't work out who that is. I think it's still... No, I know it's Marcelli now in second place. He's overtaken so, Geisha. He lane. is diving in pit lane. pit lane. Then. So Max Verstappen is about to get into the car. Whoa. <laughs> Squeaking on the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Give him a push mark, good man. Uh, there we are, lovely. So four laps to go then, and Max Verstappen is in. Yes. Of course, these guys at the front now do have to stop, and if we're going to get all F1 about this. Max has gone for the undercut. <laughs> so, here we go. Who's up the inside there? So Margelli is leading. Oh, the hands are up. Not happy. has been relegated back to second place. These guys are going to have to come into the pit to swap. So, Marcelli will be swapping for a Shiro. And Geisha will be swapping with Sergio Perez. So, yeah, not a bad swap for Geisha. We've got Perez and Verstappen on the track together. Yeah. So, here we go. They're both diving into pit lane. All three actually diving yeah, into the lane. Yeah, he comes in behind yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> They're not hanging about, are they? Oh, unsafe release some, maybe. So Max is already through into the lead there. So there the he is. has worked. Lovely, look at that. So number one, gold Max helmet. Max Verstappen in the lead front for now of the race. We're so used to hearing that, aren't we? Let's take stock. What's the running order then? It looked like Ashiro was into second, didn't it? Yeah, so Max has built a bit of a lead, so the undercut has worked on the chasing trio. Just trying to work out. I think Perez is now in third place, isn't he? Yeah, Perez is in third place, swapped with Tim Geisha. Is that Sonoda in fifth place catching up? It looks like. I believe so. It looks like Sonoda. If it looks quite small in the cart, then yes, it yeah. probably is. <laughs> So not quite final lap just yet. That confused me in qualifying. They'll spin that round eventually. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we've got two or three, maybe two laps to go. I do believe. Ah, oh, Perez is three to second. He then. is. So Red Bull one two. So Perez was teammates with Tim Geiser. So Geiser obviously uh, did Geiser start on pole? He did start on pole, didn't he? Geiser was on pole. So yeah. Geiser started on pole, slipped down to second at one point there, and now back into P two. 
Right, it's definitely bunched up slightly it in has, the yeah. uh, in the chasing pack. It has. Seems Max obviously still leading the way. With Sato and Sonoda coming in for the guys that were at the back of this race, they're, they're definitely closing up. Has a bit of a look behind him, does Max? See Sergio Perez behind him, his obviously teammate in Formula One. Looks yeah, like Gasly's Perez just going up the inside of Sato, or was it Ashiro? Might have been Ashiro. He started shot, but I didn't hear the Japanese commentator on oh, side. That's whoa. a little bit close oh. for comfort. Is that Make now Sonoda and Gasly together? I think it's, some, I think it's, yeah. It's it hard to tell to from this angle, isn't it? But Perez is now chasing Verstappen at the front. Right, who, who's... That's, can't that's quite definitely get close the AlphaTauri duo, It's definitely the AlphaTauri duo, duo yeah. AlphaTauri duo. I can't... I think it looks like... Yeah, it's Sonoda in front because it's the little bit of a smaller figure. Ooh, Gasly... Sonoda on the inside. And Gasly bites back at him. And this is the last lap then. So Verstappen is going to come across the line to win. So Mark and Max Verstappen will win. So he runs to the line. Oh, photo close. finish. That's extremely close. Uh, second place will go to Sergio Perez and his teammate Tim Guy. So congratulations to them. Third place. Who was third place in the end? wasn't Ashiro, he slipped all the way down. It might well have been one of either Gasly or Sonoda. It was Gasly and Sonoda, I think, in third and fourth. Couldn't quite work out which was which. Yeah, Where's the orange helmet? That. Orange helmet, now. I believe, is uh, Sonoda. Yeah, it is Sonoda, isn't it? So I think Sonoda finished third, but it was a bit of a photo finish, so... <laughs> Max sliding it into the head on the <laughs> cool-down lap. Yes, yeah, so I believe yes. then it will be Sonoda third, Gasly fourth, I think Ashiro fifth, and then you'll have Sato coming up sixth, and I believe that was it. Yeah, I think that is it. Good race, though. Max Verstappen bringing it home for team Mark and Max at the front, team number one. And then Perez doing well in that second stint to create third into second place. <laughs> was it Takuma Sato that Sonoda was racing with? I'm not too sure. We'll have to uh, see on the podium at the end. I think it um, was, you know. I think it was Takuma Sato. Yeah, Sonoda is the orange helmet. So Sonoda did well to make up some ground in that second stint. So as we kind of expected then, the uh, <laughs> the most... <laughs> competitive in uh, Honda machinery have gone on to win the thing. Yes. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Mark and Max win at the racing discipline. Helmet Marco there. Yeah, of course, a huge figure in the, the Red Bull Honda program. So that was a lot of fun, really, wasn't it? Great it was. to see just a little bit more of a casual thing and also great to see all these guys interacting with people that they never really this see. This is it, yeah. Of course, motorsport worlds are extremely busy and take them to their own places in the world all the time. So it's good to see them actually interact with, I mean, you know, guys like Ricky Brabeck and Mark Marquez talking together. That doesn't happen every day. So very, very nice to see indeed. Yeah, we're normally racing on opposite sides of the world or opposite weekends when, for example, MotoGP have got a weekend off, F1 normally racing and vice versa. Very difficult for any of these guys to see each other or visit different paddocks during the year. So it's what Honda Thanks Day is all about, isn't it? Getting all exactly. their riders and drivers together and just have a bit of a bit of a laugh, bit of a celebration, bit of end of year sort of exactly. party with the fans as well, of course, an important aspect. And of course, it's cool for the... Here we go, the news couple of replays. So this was Tim Geiser at the start. That's a, it's a good move, that. Giving it to Mark Marquez, and then Mark Look Marquez Mark gives it back. It back diving up the inside, <laughs> typical Mark style. And this is when Marcelli got involved. Oh, they actually whacked, whacked the tyre on the exit of the final corner there. Then Max Verstappen got into the car, and that was pretty much all she wrote for the win. But behind, there was all sorts of change. So Max came across the line. It was a Red Bull 1-2. We've heard that before, haven't we? Sergio Perez finished in second. And then it was a big battle behind there for third. Pretty sure it was Takuma Sato, you know, in Sonoda. It, it might well have been, yeah. It might well have been. With all the chaos, we kind of <laughs> forgot what was going on, really, didn't we? This is, of course, Takuma Sato. And of course, the Honda Racing Thanks Day is quite cool for the riders and drivers as well. Um, yeah, for sure. You know, they get to see machinery that they don't normally see. You get it up close. Mark Marquez explaining to Max and Sergio. 
exactly how his Honda yeah. GP machine works, and also vice versa. You know, Mark gets in F1 cars and occasionally drive them as well. Yeah, it's keep an eye cool. out on um, social media and MotoGP.com for some cool content coming your way. We had a team on the ground in Japan at Mategi, getting some cool content of the two guys on your right hand side, Mark and Max, sort of Perez as well, Gasly and Sonoda. Check it out, Mark Marquez's RC213V. So it seems then that third place was it was Sonoda and Ogawa yes. that finished third. <laughs> <laughs> Both trying to sneak on a very small podium here. <laughs> <laughs> so the third place trophy then, I'm sure that'll be a, a proud one. They'll have to argue over who's going to take that one back to their respective trophy cabinets. <laughs> Second place then, it will be Sergio Perez and his teammate Tim in Geiser. that, Tim Geiser. <laughs> it's very snug on the podium. It is, yeah. Tim Geiser, of course, used to the top step more often than the uh, the second step. Well, two people used to the top step are coming right up, Jack. Mark Marquez and Max Verstappen. The 16th time in 2022 Max has stood. <laughs> well, yeah, he is going to stand on the podium. <laughs> <laughs> Just tucks in behind Mark there. Yeah. <laughs> so the first place trophy then to, well, two incredible talents that are under the Honda banner. Mark Marquez and Max Verstappen. <laughs> and that was a lot of fun, really. That was great to see. It was, yeah. And, it, of course, it's not just these guys that are here at Honda Racing Facts Day either. There are a whole host of others as well, including some other MotoGP stars, Takan Akigami and uh, even Tetsuya Nagashima as well. We'll just hear what Mark has to say. I mean, uh, no, the race was good. It was a nice uh, fight there with uh, Steve. And, uh, and yeah, uh, lucky I was smart and then I made the other track. Because we were fighting a lot and we were losing a lot of time, and then uh, I thought that the other cut was the best way because, like this, uh, Max uh, had a clean track and uh, he can push, and uh, we won the race. <laughs> So even when it's a kart race, Mark is thinking about tactics, thinking yeah, yeah. when's best to pit, of course, losing time, yeah, to the surprise of no one, of course, that's what makes him an eight-time world champion. I think. Not too sure if we're going to hear from Max as well, but hopefully we do. Big wave to the crowd then for Mark. Of course, a fair few 93 hats in that crowd that we've seen throughout the time. And here is Max as well, so we'll listen to what Max has to say. Uh, Mark did the, the hardest part, you know, he kept it in the lead. We did a good strategy with the undercut, so uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I was lucky with my teammates, I'm sure it was. <laughs> 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 so as we rightly pointed out then, <laughs> the undercut worked very, very well it indeed. Is. Classic Red Bull F1 strategy. There you go. But yeah, thank you very much for joining us for the little kart race. We haven't got too long left before we round it out. Of course, it's been brilliant to watch and also in general, Honda Thanks Day is a great little event that they put on over two days at the Mategi circuit. I have to say as well, it's really cool to see the likes of Tetsuya Nagashima there, a person that probably doesn't get as much praise as he needs to. HRC test rider, both in MotoGP, World Superbike, did the last round of World Superbike as well. Went well over there, didn't he? Did Philip really Barland. well, and obviously there's now calls for trying to get him on the grid mm. full time at some point. Did very, very well indeed. So Tom yeah, Chancha cool and I grew over there as well for you MotoGP fans watching. Yeah, of course, Segura lost out heartbreakingly on the title in Valencia. Two crashes in the final two rounds. It really was an unfortunate one that went away from Agura in the end. But, I mean, he comes into Moto2 for 2023 as probably the favourite, you would say. Maybe him and him Pedro and Acosta. Him and Acosta, I think, are the probably joint favourites. Mark, Pierre and Max just debriefing. But, yeah, I think we'll, we'll wrap it up here, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you've enjoyed that. We certainly have. It's great to see some of the world's superstars, Honda superstars on show, just relaxing and enjoying themselves after a long and tough season racing in their respective disciplines. But yeah, great to see Honda Thanks Day going so well. It's great to have it back and we shall see you soon. Thank you very much for watching.